<clears throat> what we're doing is putting our, our um, wheel together here and uh, I'm going to thread through the wool that I had already made spun. We're fitting it through the orifice here so that we can spin it properly. And I'm adding on wool to the spool that I've already started because I don't have enough on there. The other one has more wool on it and we want to make a two ply. So to do two ply I'd like to have a little bit more wool so it evens out. And just pull it, pull it through the orifice here. Put our hook back. And we're ready to spin. And what kind of wool is this? Uh, this wool is 65% merino sheep's wool and 40% uh, 40%, uh, 40 uh, angora rabbit wool or hair. Depends on who you are. And there we go. And we're ready to spin. So we're just attaching it to the other spool that's or, or to the other piece that's already started and it joins up quite easily. And we're spinning enough so that we get enough twist. You don't want to over twist it, but you're getting enough twist so that when you do two ply, When you two ply it, you want to be able to have enough enough twist in it. So you'll see that that's how it will be when it's two plied. And you want to make sure that you're not over spinning, that you're just spinning it enough. got myself a little slub there so I'm untwisting a bit and stretching it out. And it automatically takes it back into the wheel when you just let it go. Your tension is tight enough so when you're ready to put it on your wheel, it just slides in. It takes it all in quite quickly. And as you can see on the up here, we get um, it's getting quite heavy and thick through here. So I'm going to move this down a little bit so that now it'll pull, build up um, a little bit further down so we keep that all even on the spool. The Angora hair from the Angora rabbit is the warmest wool that you can purchase or that you can have. And they always cool it down with a sheep's wool or with some other type of a wool. First to give it body and secondly to cool it down a little bit because if you had just pure Angora it would just be too hot. Second warmest wool that you can have.
have is uh, the camelid family. So anything from the camelid family, the alpacas, the llamas, camels, uh, they all produce the next warmest wool. The, um, the Angora rabbit that I'm using here is from my own Angora rabbit. Um, you harvest their wool once every four months or so, depending on when they're ready to let their fibers go. And that can be sheared, that can be cut. Um, I don't... I've never, I've usually just cut it myself, not, not plucking it. I've usually just cut it with scissors. <clears throat> and when we're done this spool, then we'll do a two ply, because my other spool's already done and ready. I think I'm going to stop there. And, uh, I'll use that for later. I think it's pretty equal to that other one. <clears throat> 